There's two types of agencies and strategists in advertising. There's the lead agency and there's the mosquito agency. I don't know where I heard this uh, analogy, but I freaking loved it. If you know where, tell me, because I feel like I'm not crediting the source of this and I should really be crediting um, the source. But a mosquito agency is a really small agency that I nearly got hit then. Um, someone was just coming really, really fast down the road. Uh, a mosquito agency is the type of agency that's in the room, it's so small, but it keeps picking at you and it can take down a giant, it can take down the sleeping giant because it's always just sting, 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 sting. And I think that's true in advertising too, especially in this new integrated world. And I've been lucky enough to work at both agencies and I can tell you the benefits of both. Let me tell you the benefits and the drawbacks of both types. So the start of my career, I was at two agencies, um, the population, which was a social media agency, and then another agency called TCO, which was like a production house. They had like directors, editors in house. And then I came on to help build their kind of like social capabilities out. And the thing about it was, we were always the side chick, you know, like we were always the side, side slice where what, I, what we would do would be, we would take on um, the business that the creative, the main creative agency didn't want to do. They're like, oh no, that, that job's too small or we're not gonna, classic one here. One of the first jobs I worked on was for Coca-Cola. They had an activation down at um, Bondi Beach. They needed someone to like film it a little hype reel for maybe internally, they're different, ooh, oh wow. Um, they're different, they needed to just showcase it everyone. Creative agency, and I think they were gonna put it on Facebook. Creative agency, I think it was like Ogilvy were like, we're too good for that, we're not doing that. Um, when I was working at TCO, they were like, oh yes, we'll take that. Because it's a small job, not enough money. To, you know, they've got expensive people around. So we got introduced there. We then were able to get social. We won the social, we became the social agency of record there. And then we did the same with Foster's, which is all the major kind of beer brands in Australia. And we became their social agency of record. And Plumminger BBDO, who I ended up going and working for later, were the lead agency and the thing about being in the mosquito agency is the lead agency really hates you. They're gonna find every chance they can to undermine you and show that you don't understand strategy or at least this was my case when I was there. Because what you're doing is you're picking just little holes into their retainer. So you're making their, their work smaller and smaller. You're in growth mindset. You're probably only taking really small percentages off. But that's still enough. And so you will often in those agencies get pretty frustrated though because you want to be the lead agency. You know, you want to be doing the real strategy where you're going and interviewing people. Often you get the creative idea handed to you and then you've got to adapt it for social or adapt it for PR or adapt it for some other environment. And the social work can sometimes, I mean the strategy work can sometimes feel quite disheartening. But you're growing, you're winning those little bits of business, you're doing the most exciting pieces off them. Now let me take you the other side to the lead agency. In the lead agency, yeah, you're really loving that part of the job where you're getting all the work, you're coming up with the big TV campaign. But the thing that is completely frustrating and constantly grinds your gears is the fact that you're, you're never getting to do the big integrated campaign. You wanna do all of the pieces and make this amazing piece of work, but you're not. And then 
when you're going to work with the integrated agencies, you've got all these other strategists in there who've got all these other ideas that they're throwing in. They're changing, your, they're changing the big creative idea. And so you never feel like you fully get the creative idea that you, that you really wanted. And so it's frustrating. So there's no, there is no right answer. I remember because when I went from TCO and the population, when I moved to BBH and BBDO, which were the big creative agency, I was like, now's my time. Now's my time to shine. But it never happened because new problems. It's not, it's not greener on the other side. So understanding your role and how to best work within that is the most important thing. Let me know if you've got any questions, if that resonates with anyone's experience, um, whether you're feeling that. Okay.